asked Jimmy. Why do you want to stay in the EU? Well, we'll have no medicine if we leave. That's bollocks. Yeah, you know, you know what, you know why we won't have medicine if that is the case, and it and it'll be extremely as if we've got loads of medicine now, as if it isn't rationed right now already. But let's forget about that for a fucking moment. The the only reason we wouldn't have medicine is if we suddenly left with no deal, with no preparation. Mm. If if they actually just sat the fuck down and said, "This is the date, this is the situation." But here's, here's the thing, Graham. You know they went on for a we'll long time it. about insulin. Mm. There'll be no insulin. A couple of weeks ago, they interviewed um, the the CEO or whatever of the the company that has that, that brings the most insulin into the country, the, the the largest provider of insulin products in the UK. Who said, "Oh, we've got plenty. We've been stockpiling. We're good." We're good. We got it all sorted out. If if it goes up, we'll still get our supply chain. We've got it. We got it in place. Never mentioned again. Yeah. Never mentioned again. Just oh, we'll just just just, just bury that. Let's it's just, just bury it, that. And yeah. as Happy Dog yeah. rightly points out, medicine is zero tariff under WTO rules. So it's bullshit. It's bullshit. There'll be a traffic jam. There'll be two days where not as much gets through, so they'll bring more in in the next seven days. I'm just. Project Fear is ridiculous. I'm sick of all this fire and brimstone bullshit. It's just... Can we just do it now? Can we just do it and get it over with? Like, like a plaster in it. Just pull it off. Says Spamo, Spamo Dumpers said, I better have my methadone on the 1st of November. Well, that, well, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. People are advocating for a deal at this point. They're saying, well, we're not going. We're, we're, not, we're not leaving without a deal. But that is a lie. They do not want to leave. It is a, it is a lie. Because if they wanted to... They, they, if they if they were willing to leave, they would just say right. Like we've said many times, WTL on this date. That's and they would they would pass the law, and they'd say right. That's it. And if they just if they did it right now tomorrow, WTO, end of October. That's the situation. That's what's happening. Right. What do we do? Medicine. Let's double check. Medicine is going to come in. Then we and then you move bit to bit. You know what? We can leave fucking, you know, passion fruit to the bottom of the list. If we have a, if we have an issue with passion fruit for a week or so, oh my god, I'm so sorry about that, mate. It, who do who the fuck cares though? Can you because... cope? Avocados. Imagine all the middle class people starving to death because there's no kale or avocados. Imagine yeah. the horror if we actually went back to seasonal seasonal produce. Because <sighs> well, we all, we all died in the seventies. Well, be, before Brexit came along. The Guardian that and that were all advocating for seasonal produce. They were all advocating for eating locally. Yeah, but the Guardian's as much of a slut as any other tabloid, isn't it? Of course it, it, it is. is. I mean, the, the the one that's worse is the Independent because they're not even a newspaper anymore. They still they still wish that they were. Um, but they're all shilling horribly for Remain. It's disgraceful. Um, I tell you this. 